Herbert from CapturingPassion.com and today's show we're going to have a look at two little cool things. So number one I'm going to show you some things with using a second display on your Mac and I'm also going to show you how you can use your iPad as that second display. Uh huh. So check this out. There's a couple of different apps that you can use to use your iPad as a secondary display. Um, my personal favorite is Duet Display. What I like about it is it does force you to plug your iPad in and the reason why I like that is I found other ones that worked wirelessly didn't really work very well the connection dropped out the f the delay was quite bad so this works really really well even to the point where I can actually use Final Cut and use this as my monitor and it still works so step number one is you install the Duet Display little appy thing on your computer so let me just go ahead and launch that Duet yep it's up and running then you go on to your iPad and launch the Duet Display app on your iPad. Launch. And normally it takes a little bit of time to have a think about it, but I had launched it before and hey presto, there's my secondary display. So for example, if I go ahead and open up System Preferences and drag it, oh, it's not dragging. I wonder why it's not, because the iPad's there, but it's not going to, hmm. Wonder if, ah, you see, well here's a problem. Because what's happened is I've put my iPad on the right hand side of my screen, but the computer thinks it's on the left hand side of my screen. So how do I fix that? Let me show you. Funnily enough, we're in system preferences already. We open up displays and tap on arrangement. And there you can see on my arrangement window, it shows that the little screen is on the left. So all I do is I pick it up, drag it to the right and hey presto, it is now on the right hand side of my iPad as it is physically. Pretty cool, right? Um, the final thing is, so you can see here that I've got my dock and sort of my main window is my Mac and my iPad is like a secondary window. So to change that, all I do is I grab this white bar, drag it onto my secondary window and it becomes my primary window. And to put it back, I just pick up that white bar, drag it back and everything's back to the way it was. So that's a really easy way to have your iPad as a secondary display on your Mac. If you like this, please feel free to share, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll uh, catch you next time. See ya.